Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to change the engine oil filter on a John Deere 650K. Panel right here, there's four bolts, two on either side. I hope you can see it, but this is the valve here. You have to put an Allen key in. We can use channel lock pliers or pump pliers, some people call them. So between the add and the full mark, right at the full mark. For this service, I've used Tecmo branded engine oil to purchase. Please visit our website and click on the link below. To drain the engine oil, you're going to have to climb underneath this machine. Because it has a big blade on the front, you're going to end up needing to lift the blade up. And to keep it safe, I put it on these lock blocks so I can go underneath there with no concern of the blade coming down and hurting me, killing me, or doing any other damage to anything else. So we need to remove this panel right here. There's four bolts, two on either side and it's a 16 millimeter socket or a wrench. I use a electric gun to undo them. I put the bolts somewhere safe that they don't get covered uh, in the mud or dirt or gravel that you're working in. Now careful, sometimes these pans can be completely full of mud and dirt on top where you, they're very heavy and when you undo the last bolt, they'll be heavy and pull your arm down into the dirt or mud that you're working on. Now there's a remote hose attached to the side of the engine oil filter. That's to drain the oil. And there's a little valve on the side of it. I hope you can see it, but this is the valve here. You have to put an Allen key in and you open this valve to allow engine oil to drain out. So to change the engine oil filter, the engine oil filter is in here, but as you can see, we have the blade up. We can't open the door, but even if we could open the door, we still couldn't quite get at the engine oil filter. So we're gonna pop this panel off here, this whole panel and then this lower one as well. We start with the top panel. It's a 16 millimeter bolt. Now we have to remove this lower panel because the engine oil filter is tucked a little bit in behind it. But because this panel goes up and behind the upper one, we remove the upper one first. So there's one hard to get hard to get to bolt behind the blade just loosen it off remove the other bolts and you can tilt this panel forwards out of your way so we can access the engine oil filter that's right here to change this filter to crack it loose we can use filter pliers we can use channel lock pliers or pump pliers some people call them or we can use a strap wrench i've already tried the two pliers the person who put this filter on before me made it very tight. So we're gonna use a strap wrench in this case because it's too tight to get off with pliers. And I have to get a longer ratchet. Now that we've got the filter a little bit loose, we can pull it all the way off. This one was a little bit tight, so she's a little bit bent. As you can see. There's a seal here after you pull the, after you pull the filter off, you wanna pop this seal off. We'll have a new one that we put on. You want to make sure it's pushed all the way up there. Now the new oil filter, you can see in here, there's a seal. You want to make sure that seal is lubricated uh, before we put it on. I use a little bit of engine oil, clean engine oil from a clean container. A 
Once you have the seal lubricated, you can thread it back on. You only want to put this engine oil filter on hand tight. You don't want to use a tool to make it too tight or it's very difficult to get it off as you saw when I tried to pull it off. Now that the engine oil is done draining, we're going to close that valve again and then put the hose back up inside. Now the valve is closed, we're going to put the hose back up inside. Once the hose is back up inside, we're going to put the pan back on. To fill the engine oil, we're going to put our funnel into the fill cap here. Fill cap on threads, put it somewhere safe. And then we're gonna take a clean funnel, no dirt, no debris, no old oil in it. When you lay it right in there, our dipstick is easy to get at to check. I know this machine takes about uh, half a pail to three quarters of a pail to fill it up. We wanna make sure the top of the bucket is clean of any dirt or debris, so as you tip the bucket sideways to pour the oil in, no dirt falls into your funnel and then go, isn't, goes into your engine. So again, I know this engine takes about half a pail to three quarters of a pail to fill up. So I'm comfortable throwing half a pail in before I check the dipstick. If you're unsure, then check the dipstick as you go along. I've thrown about half a pail in now, so I'll check the dipstick just to see where we're at. Always wipe it off once so you'll get a false reading and then put it back in. There's nothing on the dipstick yet, so we'll continue to pour some in. We're just starting to come on the dipstick. We're not even at the bottom ad line yet. I'm just perfectly at the top two line, or the top of the two lines. So we're between the ad and the full mark, right at the full mark. Engine oil is filled. And that's how you change the engine oil on a John Deere 650K. Please support the channel, like, comment, and subscribe.